Attach the caster foot plate to 4040 V slot by using M512 or 15mm low profile screws, please note that the countersunk holes of the foot plate should face outwards. Repeat this for other three. Measure 270 mm from the bottom, and make a mark, it is better to make multiple marks on the edge, which is conducive to pinpointing the position. Insert 3 M5T nuts into one slot of 40 40. Attach the inside out croner to leg extrusion by using M58 mm low profile screws, then fix above the mark. On the adjoining edge, repeat this for another inside out corner. Repeat this for other three. Next we assemble the support, first take a 2060 frame extrusion, please note that the length of this extrusion will vary according to different sizes. Make a mark in the center of frame extrusion first, and then make another mark at a distance of 10 mm from the center. Repast this for another frame extrusion. Attach frame extrusion to the 2060 support or brace. Ensure that the brace is centered on the sides. Insert 3 M5T nuts respectively at one end of frame extrusion and brace extrusion. Attach the inside out corners to extrusions by using M58 mm screws, adjust position, 
align and tighten. Repeat this for other three. Next attach the support to the legs. Insert 3 M5T nuts into V slot. You can attach the leg to the frame by using M5 8mm screws, note that the ends of the frame should be flush with the edges of the 40-40V slot. You can also loosely the leg on the ground, may need another people to help you to raise the frame assembly up and attach to the legs inside out corners using M5 8mm screws into the M5 T nuts. Repeat this for other three. Ok now that you have the bottom frame assembled, let's move on. Take one more 2060 frame side extrusion and slide in 3 M5 T nuts on each side.
Attach the side extrusion to inside out corner by using M5 8mm screws, adjust position, align and tighten. Repeat this for another side extrusion. With AL bracket in hand, please note that the distance from the hole to the inner edge is different, choose the hole closer to the inner edge, pre-install M5 8mm screw and M5 drop in T-nut. Make a mark in the center of each side extrusion, then attach the L bracket to side extrusion. Align and L bracket flush with the top. Repeat this for other 5. You can also install the L brackets in other locations according to your needs. Prepare MDF or wood or ply or sheet or other material in your local market. General thickness can be 12 mm or more, here we use 15 mm. And notch the corners 60 mm to allow shelf to fit. Repeat the previous steps to do the top frame extrusion assembly, here we skip it. Assembly the inside out corner with 3 M5 T nuts, and M5 8mm screws. Attach the inside out corner to the top of the leg. Ensure you line them up flush with the top of the leg. Assembly another inside out corner. Then attach it to the adjoining edge at the top of the leg, taking care to align them even with the top. Repeat this for other three legs. Repeat the previous steps to attach the frame extrusion assembly and side extrusions. You may need another people to help you to raise the frame assembly up. Now we have finished the top frame assembly, don't forget to attach the L brackets. Slide 6 M5 T nuts into slot of the left and right sides both shelves, 3 on each end.
attach the inside out corner using M5 8mm screws into the T-nuts. Adjust and tighten. Repeat this for the other top 3 outers and bottom 4 outers. Now rotate the table onto its side, and attach the four caster wheels. Attach the four caster wheels into the caster plates. Screw table top down to frame through the L brackets using cutting screws. Now we can move the table freely, then add the material on top but no need to notch 60 mm corner. Finally using cutting screws to screw table top down to frame through the L brackets again. Congrats, you can now put your machine on this strong table.